in a vegan diet, I think it's important that people just think about it as tiers. And each tier is accessible by the next tier. And as you get more bioavailable, bio you'll reach a certain equilibrium based on the things you do holistically, like working out, exercise, yoga, uh, staying away from vices. Then once you reach that certain equilibrium, you'll be ready for that next phase of diet. And you'll feel it occur when it does occur. The first tier of the vegan diet is the vegan meats. The vegan meats is just to help that mental aspect part is transferring from meat and eating more plant-based solutions and having more plant-based nutrition. The main goal should be developing a better relationship. What nutrition is, where you get nutrition from. That's how I would say finding out what works best for you, what what, uh, what is most efficient for you, what genetically is providing you the most nutrition through plant-based. Two, you simply put nutrition first. So everything you eat, you make sure you're getting the proper gut floor or you're, you're eating the right tools to provide the proper gut floor, which is gonna uh, modulate your body in different capacities and ways. So I, I like to make sure I get a certain uh, mushroom supplement or eat a certain amount of mushroom. Um, I'll make sure I eat a certain amount of green leaf, uh, eat a certain amount of fruit. And mixing all that up, I make sure I got the right antioxidants, got the right amount of fiber, um, got a good enough amount of mycelium to help transport those nutrients around. But based on your diet and what, you, what is available to you and things that you slowly pick up on, it doesn't take a, a perfection of it, but it does take slowly becoming more and more aware of what it is that you're eating and what provides you the best nutrition based on you and your lifestyle and how you go to the market and what you have available to you. The secondary purpose of tier two will eat nutrition first would be finding recipes to keep you interested in the food that you eat and kind of to take you along to find um, new sources of nutrition or new vegetables, new fruits, new types of mushrooms, new types of uh, legumes and beans, sprouts, and just encourage you to go further and find out what your palate can adjust to and what you truly like. Out of eating more plant-based solutions. Three is organic, raw, plant-based diet. This is for diets that don't necessarily, you're not cooking the food, you're simply eating it as raw and organic as possible. Nutrition primary, you can obviously find good recipes in a, a raw, organic, plant-based diet. But I would say nutrition is the, the primary for this diet. This is, there's not a lot less uh, give with this diet. Because with a raw, plant-based diet, you don't necessarily even cook your foods, depending on who you are and how strict you take the diet. But as a tier, you usually don't cook your food on a raw, plant-based diet. By the time you're organic, plant-based, your body should be running at a certain uh, equilibrium where you're a lot more um, bioavailable to the nutrition that you do get. At that state, you should already be aware of certain uh, genetic deficiencies that you have. It's important not to revisit old diets when you're eating on a raw, organic, plant-based diet because your body is more bioavailable and it has adapted to a certain uh, internal chemistry that is not necessarily um, prepared for more dense nutritional sources. So just keep that in mind. That's my video. Come back for another one.